Hello and welcome back to IXL Tutorials. This is Mr. Duffick and today we are doing IXL D7 which is the second IXL involving uh, proofs pertaining to parallel lines. So the first thing I will do is uh, one of the first things I did with the last IXL D6 is show you kind of an image here of the basics of the uh, reasons you're going to find for two column proofs in this IXL. Um, I've already gone over them in D6, so if you want a more in-depth explanation as to what each of them is, uh, go back to D6 and watch that one. For now, you can just take a screenshot of this or look at this and see the different um, the different options you have for the IXL. Okay, so the only difference between this IXL and D6 is there are a little more complicated figures here. Um, we do have two parallel lines, but now we have two other lines that they're stuck between, and there are going to be more statements and more reasons for those statements here. So uh, we'll do this problem uh, just like all the others, and we'll look at the step right before the step we want to solve for. And it says that UVW is congruent. So U V W, so the angle right here at V is congruent with T X U, T X U. So it's saying this X is congruent with this V right here, okay? And then uh, we know that through transitive property of congruence. If this is congruent and this is congruent, therefore these two things are congruent. Okay, now the last one has us moving on to V W X, so V W X, so the W right here and U, V, W, U, V, W. And it says these two are going to be congruent as well. Now, I will point out that both statements have substitution, so we are just gonna substitute uh, in for another. And what I mean by that is our first statement has angle U, V, W, and our second angle has U, V, W, and it's setting them equal or congruent to something else. So we just substituted the T, X, U with V, W, X for substitution. So I'm going to click substitution and click submit. Okay. Next, complete the proof that the measure for angle UVX plus the measure for angle QSR equals 180. Okay, so uh, we'll go through here and uh, we get to step four and we'll say HIX, so HIX, this angle here, plus QSR plus QSR, so this angle there. If you add them together, they're going to be the same side exterior angles theorem, like that, okay? And we know they're gonna be the same because all the lines are parallel there. So if we go down to the next one, we see we have UVX plus QSR equals 180 as well. Just like with the last problem, we have uh, QSR and QSR, so we're just substituting in the uh, UVX to HIX, and so we're gonna go with substitution yet again. Cool. Okay, so this one is saying PR and TV, so PR and TV are parallel, and PR and VW are parallel as well. That is given to us, those two statements are given to us. So it wants us to complete the proof for uh, the measure of angle VUZ uh, plus the measure for angle S, uh, SXY equaling 180. Okay, so we'll go down here to our uh, step that is right before the one they want us to solve. We have VUZ, so VU and Z up here, so just this angle right here. That is going to be congruent with RQZ, so R, Q, Z. So they're saying these two angles right here are congruent, okay? And we know that because they're corresponding angles, cool. And so if we go down to the next step, it says that R, Q, Z, R, Q, Z, plus S, Y, or X, S, X, Y, S, X, Y. So these two, um, these two angles are going to add up to 180 degrees, and why is that? Well, let's look at our options here. Are they alternate exterior angles? No. 
Okay, they're in fact on the same side of the transversal, so they're not gonna be alternate anything. So we'll skip those. Uh, do we know that because of the, let's see, alternate, alternate, no, nothing with the alternate. Do we know that because of the, correspond, the uh, corresponding angles postulate? And that's just saying that we know two things are congruent, um, and therefore we know these two are going to be, um, and these two lines are gonna be parallel. That's not going to help us here either. We have converse of the same side exterior. Again, um, well, this one is more same side. So same side and exterior, sure. Same side interior, sure. Then we have corresponding angles, which no, that doesn't help, doesn't help us with adding two together to get 180. Same side exterior angles theorem, and then same side interior angles theorem. So uh, immediately we know these are on the interior, right? We have the angle X right here and the angle Q right here. Uh, those are going to be on the interior so immediately we can get rid of the exteriors so we're going to be left with same side interior angles theorem and the converse for the same side oh we don't even have that one okay well then all we have left then is just same side interior angles theorem perfect okay process of elimination gets us the right answer there wonderful okay uh complete the proof let's see we'll get it on here RTS, RTS, this angle right here is congruent with HIR, HIR. So these two are congruent. Why is that? Okay, well, they're clearly corresponding angles. And we know these two lines are uh, parallel already, which has to be the case for corresponding angles. And so this is just going to be corresponding angles. Just like that. All right. And we are already to 60, which is where I usually stop with my classes. The problems after this are the same thing, except you have to give uh, multiple answers here. They don't leave just one of them blank. They leave a few of them blank. So I'll stop the video there. Take care, study hard, and I'll see you for the next IXL tutorial video. Goodbye.